Up first this evening, the police attached to the St. James State of Emergency are refuting claims made, at, made by the public defender about the state of the holding area in which detainees are being held. The police took the media on a tour to show one of the lockups with the hope that it will dispel the reports of prisoners being held in harsh conditions. They also addressed the issue of children being held in custody and under the state on, and the state in which they are being detained. TVG's Herman Green has that story. Police officers, including Senior Superintendent Anthony Morris and his deputies, showed the media the holding area. It's their way of telling the police's version. Last week in Parliament, the public defender Arlene Harrison-Henry spoke about the holding area at the Freeport station, suggesting it lacked adequate ventilation. We hope that pictures will say more than a thousand words. So we're hoping that um, this part about they're being held without ventilation in tight spaces um, will be put to rest. Reference was made to the toilet facility suggesting that that too was not in proper condition. The police showed the media a flush toilet, a face basin with running water and an area for bathing. The public defender also raised the issue of the number of children detained by the police under the state of emergency and the conditions under which they were held. In fact, our records show that in January, we took in 10 children, February 12, March 8, April 11, May 7, June 5, July 13, August 12, September 8, October 11, and since November 8. He says of the number stated, all the children were processed and released within 24 hours, except for 10 who were held for serious charges, including murder. He also says that no time were the children ever held with adults. Superintendent Morris says the children were processed at Freeport, but the ones who were detained were kept at the Barrettstown station. But Deputy Superintendent Ainsley McCarthy says it's unfortunate that the public defender could have made those comments in the public sphere. Herman Green, TVJ News.